Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Daisy Party. In the last episode, we had the best birthday ever by beating Bowser, getting the presents, and having a splendiferous time with a super awesome cutscene that breaked the boundaries and the limits of GameCube technology, or it was a pre-render cutscene, so that's why it looked better, but whatever. We're gonna go ahead and do some other things now, now that that story mode is all done and out of the way, we could go ahead and just wrap up some loose ends and finish this LP once and for all. So all these tickets here lead us to different areas, of course the party mode is just the regular party mode, it's basically all the boards are the exact same between party and story mode, so we don't really need to go in here and show off what these boards are like because we all already saw them throughout the LP. Story mode we already saw of course, unless you just haven't been paying attention this entire time. Minigame mode is uh, run by Goomba, you can play all the minigames you unlocked here, you can also play like little tournaments like uh, first to three wins, or you can have a bingo board, and if you win a minigame they can place like a chip on a bingo board to see if you can get bingo or something like that, or tic-tac-toe or whatever. It's kind of fun, but not really anything interesting or worthwhile. Uh, Koopa, of course, because he's the boring one, he controls the option room. And I don't know why Boo doesn't have his own card here, it's really lame, instead of like, just Koopa's option room and whatever. Uh, Shy Guy has the present room, which we'll be going to at the end of the LP. But what is this weird one over here, the extra room? We got some extra minigames with a really weird looking ticket. Let's go ahead and check out what this thing's all about. Hey buddy, welcome to the extra room! So, uh, you want me to tell you about this room? Sure. Yeah, this here room is for you guys who are tired of the regular minigames. We get one player duel, and even wacky games for you. That's, these premium minigames are made from the finest ingredients. Best of all, they're free, so play them all you want. Just don't leave a mess. So this is basically just uh, leftover ideas that were left on the cutting room floor, but just put to the side for us to enjoy right here. So we got Thwomp's Backroom Ball and Womp's Basement Brew, ha 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 ha. So we're gonna go ahead and experiment with, not experiment, we're gonna experience these right now. Uh, first off, we'll start with Thwomp's Backroom Ball, what does he got for us? <laughs> I always like the old Thwomp spray, I don't like how it's all fleshed out and gray in the newer games, but now I like the blue block more, even though it's just a blue square with a weird face. Uh, how many people are playing this party? Uh, just one, because I'm all alone! So we're gonna go ahead and not use Mario, because we don't care about him. We're gonna use Daisy, of course, as we've always been doing. Uh, we're gonna use Donkey Kong, because he was our character in Mario Party 1. Uh, by the way, we have Easy, Normal, and Hard Difficulty. If you beat Story Mode and Hard Difficulty, you unlock the Extreme Difficulty, or Very Hard, or Extra Hard, whatever. It's the only thing in this game I have yet to do, because I always go through uh, Story Mode on the easy route. Because I am lame like that, so I guess I haven't 100% completed Mario Party 4. How shameful of me! Hopefully the things I have unlocked will make up for it. Uh, Donkey Kong, we're going with easy. Uh, let's see... Mario Party 2, yeah, you're just so forgettable, Luigi. We went with Luigi Mario Party 2, and Yoshi in Mario Party 3, so we've come full circle! So these are the things we got for Thwomp's Backroom Ball. We got Mega Board Mayhem, which is just a extra little board. Mini Board Mad Dash, which is another extra little board. Panel Panic, which is a sort of interesting mini game, and then Challenge Book Squirm, which is a challenge mini game. So we're gonna go ahead and do all these right now. I'm not sure if it'll be all one episode, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let's start off with Mega Board Mayhem. It's basically a very simple board that does not have any stars. It's just a matter of. Uh, whoever has the most coins in the end of it, and I don't know how many turns it has, but I guess we'll- Oh, you can decide, so we'll do 10 turns. We're just not gonna be doing this for very long. Oh, uh, you gotta put a star on here? Okay, that's weird. So you do 10, 20, or 30 turns. Mega Board Mayhem! I do like the background of this. I know I've been complaining how the backgrounds are just like the character's face repeat over and over, but look at this, like it flips over the cards and stuff, and they're made of uh, womps and stuff. Looks really stinking cool. Daisy, DK, Luigi, Yoshi. Hey there, the name's Thwop, and I'm gonna be your guide on this here board. It took me six whole months to make this place, ain't it a beaut? My only rule is that whoever gets the most coins wins. Now let's decide the order. And I'm not going first as usual. Throughout this entire stinking LP, I've not gotten first once. So like I said, there are no stars in this uh, in this board, and there are also no mini games. Uh, unless you land on a Bowser space and you could possibly get a Bowser minigame. It'd be very funny if we got Bowser minigames here of all places. We start with 100 coins. We basically just keep on going around using Mega Mushrooms to steal coins from other people. 
and the first person, and I guess uh, once I'll turn turns are up, whoever has the most coins wins. It's just a short little thing if you just want to have a different little experience with your friends, kinda. Now, I really like the item shop because when you go in here, all the items are the stinking same. <laughs> it's really stinking funny. I don't know why they didn't just have it be one item, but no. He just fell out the entire thing with the same item over and over. I like how he waves, like he just tilts his body to make it look like he's waving. And something about the Sparky sticker, I actually got it wrong. I mi mixed it up with a, uh, I believe the Zap Orb or Zap Capsule. The Zapsel from uh, future Mario Party games. Uh, in this game, if you use a Sparky sticker, it stops your character, stops the character from moving and also steals coins from them. So it does not make them lose coins for every step they continue to go. Like I think I said, maybe I didn't say it and I was right all along and whatever I said before. And I'm just making things even more awkward and confusing, who knows? Let's see, Yoshi gets a mini mushroom. Mini mushroom is really only useful for getting away from people because if you go uh, use these mini pipes, you can use the lottery. It's the only way you can access the lotteries if you use the mini mushrooms, I believe. Uh, maybe, possibly, I don't know. It's uh, kind of interesting if you just want to try that out. I'd like to go ahead and get to the lottery just so I could show off the dialogue of the, uh, the Thwomp of the Lottery. We've got super mega mushrooms here. I'm gonna get, get one of those. Yeah, I actually bought a mushroom at the store. Who would have thought? I never thought I'd see the day. And I'm right behind DK and Luigi, so I am, am in a very good position to steal some money from them. And Luigi gets a roll. Donkey Kong has a warp pipe, though, so we could switch places. Uh, if he switch places with Luigi, though, that'll be very useful. Uh, DK, what's he gonna be doing? Or he won't even use it at all. I'm just so used to the computer players always using their items right away. Yoshi's gonna- Oh, he's also gonna go ahead of me. Okay, thanks, Yoshi. Thanks for making things super easy and convenient for me. And he's gonna get a warp pipe because everyone's always like, I gotta buy the items. Wow. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Awkward. Please don't land on me. Thank you. He goes ahead one whole space. I can just walk now. Okay, never mind. And time to get Mega with the Super Mega Mushroom. So yeah, I'm really excited to finally finish recording this. Not that I wasn't having fun with it, it's just that I'm amazed at how quickly it went and I was just enjoying it the entire time and I can't believe I just got three nines. That's really stinking amazing. 999! That's a game, I guess. What's this? The numbers match? The numbers match! Incredible! That kind of look deserves a gift of 30 coins! If you get three sevens, then it gets you 50 coins, I believe, so I'm already uh, doing very good in that department in terms of coinage. So, uh, whatever I was even saying. I'm um, just like really surprised with how quickly the LP got wrapped up. Uh, the, definitely the games having only 15 turns to them instead of 20, that definitely made a difference. And uh, not having to schedule co-coms uh, made a difference as well, so no offense to my co-coms, but it was just uh, a refreshing change of pace to get through a Mario Party LP in record time. And I'm excited to start recording some other things. I, not, I don't have any idea what the order of everything is going to be released, because right now I've recorded episode 1 of The Walking Dead Season 4, and I've recorded all Mario Party 4. A lot of 4s right now. Uh, I don't think those are getting released, though, in this specific order, so I have no idea, really, what's going to be going on. Uh, I do know that after this I'm probably going to start recording the Emerald bonus videos and Alpha Sapphire stuff. Uh, that'll get bleeped out if that doesn't get released before this does, so hooray! I just am completely on top of the game. I'm not, like, I'm not slacking on the job, it's just that, like, I'm doing good with recording stuff, it's just that I have no idea when it's all gonna get uploaded. So it's just a big old mystery, just get recorded whatever I can, and the time that I have it. Now, I wish I had a mini mushroom right now so I could go through the mini pipes, it's a, a very good setup for that, but unfortunately no, so we're gonna have to go all the way back around. And it's not like it's difficult to do because the board's so small. And yeah, just keep on doing this over and over. There's really not much to talk about. I don't really... Uh, I appreciate just the option to do this. It's definitely not as interesting as the battle boards from Mario Party 3. I really wish those made a comeback, but unfortunately they do not. Uh, but still a cool little extra thing that they could... that they threw in for you for the heck of it, because... Uh, it's definitely not doing anything bad by just existing in the, si in the side room right here. Uh, Yoshi's gonna go ahead and... Oh, he's using an item! Oh, that'd be very useful if you switch places with me, Yoshi! Uh, no, he switches with DK, okay. DK, okay, okay, DK, okay, 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 oh, DK. I just realized... Never mind, <laughs> okay. Uh, Yoshi's going over here, and speaking of 999, uh, I know a lot of people really like that game, and there's, like, two sequels to it, but, like, I got it, and I just, I cannot get into it, like, the dialogue is just so stinking slow, and I'm still stuck in that, it's like, this isn't a spoiler, it's like five minutes into the game, where 
you wake up in a room and then the room starts flooding with water. I have not gotten out of that room yet. It's so stinking weird. And, like, I just don't like how slow it is and, like, the dialogue. There's visual novel games in general, I don't like how the characters, like, it just, like, over-novelizes it. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but just, like, how they over-explain things or over-narrate, I guess. Because that's why you like about Phoenix Wright and Professor Lane, because there isn't really any narration segments. It's just characters talking over and over. There's never characters talking to themselves or giving them, like, monologues about who they are or whatever. Like, that's why I got, like, why I haven't been able to get into Dunk on Rumpa, because it sort of has the same thing where, like, I'm just a regular high schooler and never anything special about me. I'm gonna go to a high school now. I'm excited to go to this high school. I wonder if anything interesting will happen in this high school. I'm excited to go to the high school. Well, it's time for me to go to the high school. Wish me luck as I go to the high school. I'm going to high school. High school, high school, high school. It's like, it took forever just to get off that screen, and I was just, like, so stinking bored of it. But, like, I want to play the Danganronpa games because, like, they're just so critically acclaimed and everyone loves them so stinking much. And 2-7s, hooray. Um, I feel like the chances of getting the same numbers are a lot higher on this board because it's all about coins. Uh, maybe that's true, maybe not, I don't know. But, yeah, I've been wanting to, like, get into Danganronpa, but it's just, like, so stinking difficult for me. Uh, so that's, like, a game that I should stream just because, like, uh, I'm not gonna be able to, uh, get into it when just playing on my own. It'd be fun to just talk with people while trying to play it. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this. A two. Whoop de doo. It's a grind. Yay! Oh, what turn are we on? Oh, hey, last five turns. I didn't even have to look it up. And yeah, there's not even a last five turns of vent or anything like that. It's just, oh, hey, last five turns. Ha <laughs> ha But yeah, uh, 999. I uh, really wanted to get into it, but like, it was just so slow with the dialogue. And I. As soon as like he's already explained math to me, like, there was a puzzle that it required to, like you to open a case or something like that. And dialogue that you've already seen, you couldn't speed through and everything. It was just so singing slow and I couldn't stand it. I know there's like a mobile version of 999 that like is just the story, no puzzle or gameplay or anything like that. If you just want to experience the story, then you could uh, buy the mobile version. But that just, I don't know, I don't think it's worth it for me. Uh, maybe one day though. I'm working my way through. I gotta talk about this game uh, called Ever Oasis for the 3DS. I was not expecting to love it as much as I have. It's been so stinking good. It's just so enjoyable. It's like Animal Crossing, but with a plot, kind of. It's like Animal Crossing and Legend of Zelda had a baby. And it's really interesting. I've always been like on the fence as to whether or not I wanted to do an Animal Crossing LP because I was never super into the series, but I uh, really love New Leaf, so I've always been like thinking that if a new Animal Crossing game came out, I would want to LP it like day one so I could experience with other people, and that's sort of what it's all about, being able to um, go to other people's towns and uh, work together and play together and stuff like that. But Nintendo just doesn't want to release it on Switch for some reason, I have no idea why, but whatever. But, I don't know, I feel like I'm not sure how I would want to go about making that LP or if it would be really fun, and I wouldn't really know how to end it because, I don't know, I'm not just super expertise on the Animal Crossing universe, and uh, I don't really know how I would wrap it up in a nice little bow. But with Ever Oasis, it gives me that Animal Crossing feeling, but it has an end goal in mind, so just like 100% everything. Uh, it's just a personal end goal that you do for Animal Crossing if you just like get all the uh, merit badges or whatever that are seen as the achievements of that game, but it seems it's a lot more reasonable and possible to uh, finish Ever Oasis, so I think I will definitely LP Ever Oasis and that'll be like my Animal Crossing fix for my channel, because I have, I do want to have an Animal Crossing experience on my, on my channel one day, but I'm just not sure if it'll be enjoyable, but with Ever Oasis I've been absolutely adoring that game, it's so sinking good. Oh my god, I just want to uh, hurry up and finish it though, because uh, I've been playing for just a bit too long. There are other uh, games I still need to play. I haven't played Detective Pikachu yet, which I really want to play. My goal is to finish that before the second movie game comes out. I think it just got confirmed that's coming out uh, summer 2019, so I got a whole year to finish the game. Let's see if I can do it. It's sort of weird, like, everyone was talking about that game, but then as soon as it released, um, I just never hear any anyone talk about it ever again. It seems like be the case with like, a lot of things, where people are just so excited to play, but then they play and they're just like, it's gone. Well, we, we got it now. I was always had that mindset with like um the last guardian because like we were waiting so stinking long for it to release and I was always like in the back of my mind I was always super worried that something would happen like it would get a recall or it would like be some sort of error on the disc or they would get taken away or something like that I just like had a bit of stress in the back of my mind because I didn't have uh, the last guardian yet I didn't get on release yet. I got it like only like a few months ago actually I still haven't played it, but I was always just stressed out that like something would happen where the disc would disappear because it was just so risky and I just didn't feel safe with this game. Like, we were always wondering if it would even come out in the first place. 
and um, when it finally did, it was like, okay, we don't have to worry about it getting delayed anymore, getting canceled. It's finally out. We can finally move on with our lives. But I still had that bit of stress in me until I finally got the disc for myself. Now I finally have it. I physically have it with me, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Just like chill out. Unless my disc just magically disintegrates or something like that. Just like a magical code that exists within it if Team Eco just wants to destroy it from existence or something. I have no idea, but whatever. Just a weird thing that I think about. I don't know. Uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What turn is this? I have no idea. Uh, I'm just getting all fed up with all this uh, slow moving board. And let's see, we're just gonna switch to Luigi. And yeah, Luigi's blue in this game because Yoshi has the color green. Yeah, you may wear green, Luigi, but for me, green is not a choice. It is a way of life. I am green. We are farmers. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And there's an evil star in the background. So scary. Uh, go number six, and probably no one's gonna get the lottery at this point. Uh, is there a magic lamp in here, maybe? Uh, just sparky stickers. Forget about it. Uh, you know what? We know we never seen a Sparky sticker been used before, so I'm just gonna use it for the sake of being able to use it. Watch this be like the last turn, I don't actually get to use it. Four, three, two, one. Uh, I don't seem to care. Go to Yoshi Shore. And, oh wait, I didn't realize just like how much, uh, how close my and Yoshi's coins are, so I probably shouldn't have bought that because, uh, that might result in me not getting first place. Oh no, so tragic and horrible! What will ever happen if I don't get first place in all the side modes? And DK gets that, but then again, Yoshi's a computer player, so he's gonna go ahead and buy something like a dumb dumb. Oh wait, he could- that's actually not a dumb move for the computer, because he could get a 2 with that small dice block, and it could be the last turn, he won't be able to use the uh, buy anything at the shop anymore, and he'll secure his coins. Huh, good on you, Yoshi. But I could just go ahead and make sure I don't spend any money either, and just hope I don't lose money. Uh, go and use this Sparky sticker, which unfortunately is probably not gonna get used, but at least you get to see it uh, planted into the ground. And it becomes invisible afterwards, like that, so people actually, unless they don't, unless they remember where it was placed, they won't see it coming. Insert Persona 5 reference here. Not gonna buy anything because I need to beat Yoshi! So as long as he doesn't get like 20 million coins within uh, this last turn, then I'll be good to go. One, two, three, a four. Last turn, so no item. Donkey Kong's going to uh, hit a dice block. And he's going all the way down here. Back to Star, went full circle. It's gonna be so sad to see DK leave. Like, I, I'm... I don't know, because I, because I started with Mario Party 5, I'm not as angry as other people are about him no longer being a playable character, because I got introduced to Mario Party with him not being a playable character, so it was, a, it was just like a nice little treat that I went to 4 and he was playable. But it is gonna be sad to see him go, how sad, even though I don't play as him anymore. Because I switch off in every Mario Party adventure. Who will be the next character I play as? I didn't give you hints anymore, I don't know if anyone got that over the years, but like every time we do the bonus modes, I sneak the character I'm gonna be playing as next in as a computer player, I'm always like, well, you'll see. But now I have all the playable characters here with me, so who is going to be the Mario Party 5 or 6's main character? Only time will tell. And now the results, the winner is... Daisy! And what a very anticlimactic victory screech. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> So up next is Mini Board Mad Dash. This is basically the same thing except with mini mushrooms instead of mega mushrooms. So you can tell it's gonna be loads of fun, super quick, except not really. So we got a Mini Board Mad Dash. You gotta go mini to avoid a lot of very bad spaces, I guess. And the same premise, basically. Whoever has the most coins in the end wins. Mini Board Mad Dash, and now it's pink! Oh my god, it's pink! We still got the Womps in the background. I, I always like trying to remember, the way I remember which one's a Womp and which one's a Thwomp, I think that Thwomp, like TH, it has, uh, it took me two whole months to make this board. It was a lot shorter than the six month mega board. There was that whoever gets the most coins wins. I'll the order. So the way I remember is that, uh, I go first, hooray! Um, the way I remember is that Thwomp has TH like the word throw. And I think of which one of the two would be easier to throw in my head. So the small square or the long uh, rectangle. I just think the small square would be easier to throw, so that one is a flop. Such very interesting dialogue and commentary from Minna and Beyond as always. Let's get Mini! 
It's like an, uh, mini, a Wii Mini. I still want to get a Wii Mini because, like, it's so stinking cool looking. I know it's, like, really stinking useless, but it's a cool looking console. I just want to have it for the sake of the novelty of it. And I also want to get a virtual book, but that's even rarer and more expensive. So who knows, maybe one day, send me all your Wii Minis! Uh, apparently Wario Land for the Virtual Boy is an actual good game. I was considering uh, LPing that, I'm not sure if I will because A, I don't have a Virtual Boy, and B, I don't know if it's actually, if it'll be fun or not. I don't know how I would record that either, it'd be like, uh, it'd probably be my only camcorder LP because you'd have to stick a camera in there. I know there are uh, emulator versions of the, all the Virtual Boy games, but I'd rather play it legit because that's just the way I roll. Supporting the official release is for the cool kids. But, um, I don't know, I was thinking about it, it'd be kind of interesting, but who knows? Maybe one day, maybe not. Uh, we got all those coins down there, I just like watching them dance around and stuff. Uh, Luigi, get a 10. So this board is just gonna be basically more or less the same. Sorry if this is kind of boring or laid back. It's just like, we're playing the mini bonus stuff. I promise that the rest of the bonus stuff is actually really, really fun. I spent a lot of time in the bonus room, actually. It's just that these first two mini boards are really lame, but this is the last one, so don't worry about it. And I went ahead and chose the uh, least amount of turns for y'all. If I could make it five turns, I would have, but I can't. Kinda wish that Womp was in charge of this one. I don't know why Womp has to take all the show hosts into himself. And I guess I'll buy a mushroom. And I was just standing over there and it was like staring at Luigi. What, Luigi, you don't want to watch me? I like how he doesn't watch you uh, buy items at the shop, but they do turn around when you're at the lottery because that's actually more interesting. That is like just a cool little detail they didn't need to put in, but like there's purpose behind it, which is cool. And Copa Kid is just gonna steal 10 coins. Okay, whatever. But I'm right in front of the pipe now, so I could go ahead and avoid the rest of those red spaces. Uh, Yoshi's gonna get a four, one, two, three, four. Let's count together, guys. There's actually auditions a while back for, apparently there's a Blue's Clues reboot happening. I actually did audition for Steve. I didn't hear back though, so guess it ain't happening. How sad. Uh, that'd be amazing if like the first time you guys get to see my face, it's on TV as Steve from Blue's Clues. I'm sure I'd have a different name because Steve and Joe and all the different people this is like the funniest thing to this day, how Steve, the reason they, they say the reason he left the show is because he uh, was going to college on a hopscotch scholarship. Uh, that's the funniest thing ever. Uh, haha, later. I actually knew the, I was, I went to school with the sibling of the person who voiced Slippery Soap in uh, Blue's Clues, which was kind of interesting. Just a weird little fun fact of life. Urgh. Super Mini Mushroom, everyone's getting the minis. I wish there was an option for just the cheaper ones, but whatever. I was just trying to save money, live better Walmart. Speaking of Walmart, um, there was recently a sale for everyone's favorite game, Deal or No Deal for the Nintendo DS. I'm sure many of you know that joke by now, so I'm not going to explain it. If you do, if you don't understand it, then just YouTube search it and you'll thank me later. But um, basically it was the special edition of Deal or No Deal for the Nintendo DS, so... Uh, there was a possibility that I was going to come with a briefcase, like a deal or no, de no deal. That's like a tongue twister, saying deal or no deal five times faster or whatever. Uh, there was a possibility that it would come with a deal or no deal briefcase, because when you bought the game new, it actually did come with one, like a briefcase from the show, and it was like a, a pretty good carrying case for DS games. But I was pretty sure it wouldn't come with it nowadays because it's been several years and there's just like the ones, the uh, copies of the game that are just like in the back of the room, like they, they're just trying to get rid of. So it was just a dollar, so I was like, uh, I'll try and get it. Maybe it actually comes with the briefcase, but confirmed that it does not. So it was very much indeed a bad deal. Oh, how sad. Uh, three, ten, and six. So I don't have to worry about this because Luigi's gonna walk right around me since I escaped through the power of Mini. But you could use the Mega Mushrooms to just walk through all these dangerous spaces. And wow, that'd be very funny if he went to... Oh my god, so he went through all the dangerous spaces, but now he just got springed all the way back to them. Wow, way to be Luigi. It's like the most luigi thing I've ever seen him do. So, in terms of the character choices, uh, Mario Party 2 was the only one that was sort of iffy on. I was only- I, I knew I would be DK in Mario Party 1 because I don't like DK's sprite in Mario Party 2 and 3. His eyes get like pupils and uh, little brown outlines, it looks really creepy and stuff. So I only like playing as DK in Mario Party 1. Uh, Yoshi, I just sort of like Yoshi, so... And I knew I wouldn't play as many of the older games. I like his uh, cute voice that um, from the N64 era. 
So, I wanted to play as him in one of those games, so I have him three. But with two, it would either be Luigi or Wario, because Luigi, the of course, the legendary meme of winning by doing absolutely nothing, or the- oh, hi, Bowser. Or the Wario meme of Do I Missed, which only would exist in the first two Mario Party games. Wow, we actually did get a Bowser minigame on this- oh, loser loses all of their coins. Okay. Um, we actually did get- um, so yeah, I was going back and forth on which character I wanted to play as in, uh, Mario Party 2, if I like Luigi or Wario better. And, of course, I do like Wario better as a character, and I like the Doe I Miss thing, but I don't know, I just, I guess, winning by doing absolutely nothing was more funny to me than Doe missing, so that's the reason I went with him instead. Uh, we went ahead and showed this, I wasn't expecting this, I recorded those Bowser games before the extra room. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get it, but whatever, I guess it's not too terrible that you see all three Bowser minigames, uh, during the... Um, the Bowser final battles, so hopefully you're okay with seeing two rounds of Balloon of Doom. I wish it was Fruits of Doom because that's just a funny game to play. And DK looks really small in this area, I don't know why. Just, I know he's like hunched over and stuff, but still. Uh, they make him a lot bigger later on because uh, he's no longer a character, he's like a show host and like a partner in crime. It's weird, like in Mar 9 and 10, that was something that I kind of liked, but I kind of didn't like. It's just weird to me how they made the characters like a lot more. Uh, proportionate of their sizes like they try to make them all relatively the same size in these games but then later in 9 and 10 they made them like a lot bigger and smaller and stuff which I kind of do like but it is sort of weird and stuff he's just like Ooh. and I'm really happy that Bowser's a playable character in Super Mario Party and it seems like that's gonna be the trend of them uh, resetting so we have Mario Party's 1 through 10 but now we have Super Mario Party so it's gonna be Super Mario Party 1 2 3 onwards and I'm trying to think of like what would happen after that. It would be like Super Ultra Mario Party or Ultra Mario Party, a new Super Ultra Mario Party Bro 7 Deluxe and Knuckles featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Oh yeah. We got Yoshi now. He's gonna go ahead and a ground a pound like Yoshi's do best and explode like Wario's do best. Oh, it's gonna blow. I like how Daisy just ran in front of the camera. Poor Yoshi. I'll admit that I don't like Yoshi's winking pupil in the Polygon games, but I do like his squeaky voice, so I wanted to play as him in one of those games. And 3 was the only one left available. Yoshi loses all of his money, how sad. I guess we finally got to see Bowser appear in a Bowser space. And he's out of here. I know we saw the Bowser shuffle thence. Or thence? It was like once and then, but it became a thence. It's like hence, but thence and an imaginary word. Uh, don't want a warp pipe, so let's just keep on going. You don't want nothing, well, we'll never see you later. <laughs> like, boops are very funny. Uh, just keep on going through here. And hey, how come in Mario Party Top 100, when they had that little extra room where they show all the show hosts over the years, they didn't include the Womp and Thwomp from the extra room? It's like, messing my precious Mario Party history. I don't know, I'm just gonna complain about Mario Party the Top 100 till the end of time, because not only did I have just such high expectations for it, but... They didn't even attempt to reach any expectations. They did not stinking care. I'm sorry, but it was just so stinking horrible. <laughs> uh, let's see, DK, you're going to get number five. And got more Bowser spaces ahead of you. Let's see how many more turns we got. Last five turns. Every time I wonder that, it's always the last five turns. Uh, number three, do not have any items with me, but that's about to change. And, like, is that supposed to be a nose or a pacifier, the mini mushroom? I'm not sure. I like to imagine it being a nose because it's just funny to imagine a mushroom with a nose. I don't know why that's so amusing to me, but whatever. Just because Toad set the standards of mushrooms not having nose, I suppose. Don't you nose? Two. A two. Two, two. Yeah, there's definitely a higher chance of getting the same numbers in this board. Just because coins are all the more important and stuff. So I do have an opportunity to get into that pipe up there, but I'll need to get a three or higher. Let's see if I can do it. And there's just a bunch of mushrooms up there in the background. Okay, and we got Bowser again, or Koba Kid. Let's find out. I am in first right now, but still pretty close to Luigi and DK. But that's about to change, because Koba Kid's gonna steal some stuff. 20 coins from everyone. Oh, of course, we all have to suffer for Luigi's mistakes. See ya! And two points away from a 69, but that's gonna be quite a bit of mathing that I'll need to do in order to correct that number appearance. I don't know. Whatever. It's old. We're not gonna be making jokes about that anymore. Yeah, sticking to rings. But whatever, just get the mushroom. And go time! 
Did I talk about the Door of the Explorer Michael Bay movie yet? I think I did. We'll just mention it again. It's weird. <laughs> what the heck? Oh yeah, where is the lottery on this board? Is there a lottery? Uh, probably should have thought of that beforehand. Oh, this is just a circle. I guess it's nice to just stay in this area because you avoid all the junk up there, but still, is there a lottery? So I would have liked to have acknowledged that in this area. Uh, Luigi's going down here. And he gets a mini mushroom. So exciting. DK, what are you gonna do? Get a one? Aw, sort of like a one, just a bit crooked. Uh, there you go. Now, is there a bank on this board? There is not. Okay, so there's only one on the mega board, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, hit this. I'll get a three. Not a mini mushroom three, but still a mini number. Come on, Yoshi, let's wrap it up. We got a hot day at seven o'clock. Except not really. <laughs> got a mini mushroom. I really have nothing else to say. I'm sorry that these boards are less, like so singing slow. I promise that the rest of Extra Room is really singing fun and amazing. It's just that we gotta get this lame stuff out of the way first. Maybe I should have just skipped it because I skipped Option Room, so I'm clearly okay with skipping something around here, but Koopa is worth skipping under any circumstance. But this was at least somewhat entertaining, like seeing the cool background down there and uh, hearing the Thwomp's funny dialogue. I don't know. I'm just really trying to sell this product to you. Product placement in video games. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are done with the song, but not done with the board, because we still got a ways to go. Yoshi, five. One, two, three, four, five. How many singing times am I going to sing and sing that in this LP? Or in any Mario Party LP in general, just because you see a number, you got to sing a song about it. I don't know any songs about the number three. And watch there be like a very obvious famous song about the number three that I have no idea about. We are no- Oh, <laughs> Too soon. Oh, of course that song comes to my head. Uh, last turn. And why not? Last turn. Last mushroom. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and eat the shrooms, cause why the heck not? Shrooms are cool and stuff. We got a two. Uh, just go this way. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Got Yoshi, who's not gonna waste our time with using a mini mushroom, okay. But he's gonna waste our time by getting the highest possible roll, but thankfully it doesn't link to Bowser, so it won't be too terrible. And the other two don't have items, so we don't have to worry about it. I got this victory in the bag. Unless I was like, I wonder if there are hidden uh, blocks here that have coins in them. Uh, probably. I don't see why not. You could still get coins in those hidden chests, but we were just getting, we were getting lucky with all those stars, so... We really get to experience that, but whatever, we are done here. And now the results, the winner is... Daisy! Oh my god, I had no idea. And final coins. There you go. That's it, that's the game. Da 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 da. And now for something completely different and actually entertaining! We got Panel Panic right here. It's a mini, it's a nine-man dice battle. Last one standing wins. So it's sort of like the Panels of Doom game uh, from Bowser's Gnarly Party. Except instead of just a one person versus Bowser, it's nine characters on the field. And just last one standing wins. Pick a space and hope you don't die. Hmm, what space do I want exactly? Okay, you stole that one. I'll go in the middle. Try the one in the middle! And yeah, Bowser's here because there are only eight playable characters. Uh, let's go for it! And I lost. Did everyone lose? Uh, everyone but Wario and Waluigi. Wee hoo! Come on, Waluigi, I'm rooting for you, buddy! And they knocked themselves out. And that's the mini game. That's it. Everyone died. The end. Now let's keep on going until someone wins. Let's at least have one victory for somebody. I think the character face button isn't available here, but still. Uh, let's go ahead and do that again. You, unfortunately, you have to go through the menu thing over again. Be like, oh, you want to play the game? Let's play the game. It's a very unusually long loading screen, which I usually cut out. But now that I'm talking over it and acknowledging it, now you have to experience it along with me. You have to see how long the second loading screen is. Really? Okay, then. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna stay here, cause why not? I was put on this space for a reason. And that reason 
might possibly just be because I'm player one, but still, it might be a greater reason that I've yet to experience. Or not. I got two ones? Okay, cool. Wow. That's a very fitting end. Oh, Peach. I was never going to play as her in a Mario Party game because experiencing a computer Peach is part of the Mario Party experience, so I would never play as her. And the final uh, game and area in Thwomp's Backroom Ball is Challenge Book Squirm. How many pages can you clear? Let's one standing wins. So it's basically basic blah, blah, blah. it's basically the book score minigame, but it never stinking ends. You keep on going until someone until all four people have been defeated. Which is very, very cool. This is a very big fan favorite one. Uh was this one in Mario Party Top 100? I'm pretty sure it was. Like, how could you not? Like, Book Squirm is just a fan favorite game in Mario Party 4, period, so. It's a very fun one, of course, and this is why a lot of people love it so much, because they've spent a lot of time just playing this challenge mode. So, it was never, never really that difficult to defeat the computers in this, but having to defeat the clock is a lot bigger of a challenge. And Luigi's already gone, which is very amusing to me. Yoshi's gone as well. But we don't have to worry about them, because it's all about how long we can last. And the pages do get faster and faster as time goes on, and the amount of spaces you go through lessens and lessens. Which is very scary. Let's see if I can beat my record of 27. Uh, apologies if I get quiet during this. Oh, jeez. Wait, what the? Okay! Oh, come on! I don't, know, I don't think there was a way of me getting over there unless I was just like psychic. It probably is just a good idea to, as soon as the page falls, just run to the middle so you could get a easygoing pace to whatever hole is up next, but whatever. That is it for that. Now the results, the winner is... Oh my god, it was me, I have no idea! Hooray. Got through 24 pages, which is very, very cool. Go and get out of here. Get out of here. Well, that is it for Thwomp's Backroom Ball. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And next time on Daisy Party, we are going to experience the other character who is a lot more entertaining, Womp's Basement Brouhaha. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.